So yeah, once more, hello everyone, <laughs> and welcome back to my happy hour live stream, where we are playing Mountain Blade Warband in the Floris Extended Mod Pack, and I am excited because hopefully today we will actually become our own country, thanks to good old little Kelred Dan over here. We've been trying to take this castle for a long time, I've tried buying it multiple times from the previous lord who owns it. And now, thanks to the uh, Kurjeet Khanate coming back into existence and somehow taking things over here. I don't know how they got these. I really don't. But, hey, you know what? If it means I get Kel Renan, I'm happy. And we have, of course, suggested to the king that we would like it. And if he doesn't give us to us, we're leaving. And we shall have our own empire. And that excites me. Ah, hopefully that goes well today. Better than, better than how my brain is currently going at the start of the stream. Oh boy, it's been a, been a long couple of days. Hopefully all of you had a good holiday if uh, you are American and celebrate Thanksgiving. If you're internationally watching this, I just hope you had a good weekend because you know that's a good thing. So let's. Uh, I'm kind of thinking. Hold on, let me check my party here real quick. What is my current makeup? Do I have any more Rodok peasants, or are we good on those? We're good. We have no other Rodok peasants. All right. Well, let's upgrade these people. And I'm thinking we're going to drop all of them off in Kelradan here. Except for raiders, bandits, and my cavalry. And then we are going to go after the... Uh, the bandit armies over here to try and take their prisoners from them because yeah I kind of need to put more people into Kelrutan to protect this place so uh yeah hopefully hopefully this goes well for me or it could go horribly wrong hey it's new slaver chief yay how many does that yes we have 10 we have 10 elephants now oh my god I am so happy uh okay let's move everyone else in here hi spearman crossbowman uh, spearman crossbowmen. The bandits will keep, because, well, they're bandits. Sometimes bandits will desert your castle defenses if you have them there. Traitorous bastards. So, uh, oh god, you, caravan master, you need to be at the bottom of the list. Holy crap. And, yeah, oh, I also just realized that, well, you know, I really don't need the prisoners that I have on me right now, so let's try and find that uh, army and take some bandits. Alright, hopefully hopefully he'll get over to my request then soon. Oh wow, that left a hundred people there. I completely forgot I had that many Rodox in my army. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Well, let's travel to Uxal, see if there's a ransom broker. I don't remember if we found one there last week or not. Huh. We'll see. And let's go over to chat. What do we got here? Uh, to Lynn asking, out of curiosity, which version of the song Country Roads do you prefer, original or Fallout? I have no idea. I've only ever heard it in Fallout. So, yeah. I guess the Fallout one, could just by default, because I haven't heard the other. <laughs> I'll have to look that up later. I really didn't know that there was, like, a different version. Uh, I just kind of figured whichever one was in Fallout, they just kind of used but apparently not i will have to look that up later what else we got there ace of the fire if the king doesn't give you the castle overthrow him oh if the king doesn't give me the castle we're rebelling we are freaking rebelling i'll take you i'm even kind of tempted to take you how many 13 yeah all right i'll go drop you off at kelvernan uh do i need food we usually need food let's check actually not so much right now okay cool we already bought all the bread here anyways. Never mind. All right, let's drop these folk off at Kelradan. All right, what do we have next, J-Storm? I was thinking from our discussion on television movies and shows based on game franchises. Oh, that was a good conversation last week. Oh, hey, we got bandits. Now oh, none with good prisoners. What about a television series based on the world of cyberpunk? Oh, that would be fun. That would be fun. I would enjoy that thoroughly. I like anything cyberpunk. That it's it's always amusing to me. It's one of those genres of things that I highly enjoy. So yes, I, I love seeing more of it. Ha ha! We got you. Prepare to die, you wretched bandits. Oh uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna crush them. Do I just want to charge them? No, we'll take the we'll just we'll lead the troops. We'll lead the troops. 
And, ooh, over the hill, folks. Over the hill. Wow. We had a horrible starting position on this one. Are you guys charging? Yeah. Follow me, you bastards. All right. So they're kind of coming from over there. Okay, which means archers here. Infantry here. Everyone else, continue to follow me. We'll go on this other hill over here. And Secret asking why we're fighting the Kurjeet. We're always fighting them. Nah, it's just the leftover of a war that we're in because they popped into existence again. So that's why we're fighting them. I hope to not fight them soon, you know, once I have my own empire. Then all will hopefully be well. Hopefully. Maybe. Maybe not. We'll see. How many archers and whatnot do I have? It's mostly cavalry again. I mean, of course. Yep, they're coming over the hill. Alright, first person. Let's go to stab. And... Time for you all to die! Ha! Switch the sword, we're on a hill. And I missed! Oh god, everyone just... Everyone's in my way. You are all in my way! Ooh, other people over here. Hi! Ooh god, a lot of you over here! Against my one archer! Oh no, she got knocked out! A huntress! How dare you knock out my glorious huntress! Oh god, I'm taking some... Well, actually, my horse is taking all the damage right now. This is good. This is good. This is going well. I really should just tell everyone to charge. And... Charge. Oh god, that was unarmed six. No, wrong thing. <laughs> wrong hotkey. Wrong hotkey. Okay, I'm gonna go over here. Oh god, that's uphill. Never mind. I'm gonna stay over here. Well, I'll kind of move over that direction. Okay. And Shiva, wondering if I heard the latest news on the child system for Bannerlord. Oh my god, yes. I am so happy about that. That is one thing I wish this game had. You know, we can marry, which is cool, but there's no kids or anything like that. So actually having the ability to create a dynasty in Bannerlord just makes me more happy than you can imagine. I mean, that's one of the reasons I love Crusader Kings 2 so much, is because you're not playing a nation per se, you're playing a family. And I have always enjoyed that. It's just such a cool idea to me. And so yeah, I very much like that. And um, hopefully it all goes how I'm hoping it will, in regards to it taking over, or, you know, if your character dies, having your kid take over uh, control, and it's just hopefully all that stuff works well. Because that'll be just great. I'll be so happy about that. All right, let's drop off more of these people. The crossbowman. The swordsman. These people who are the one guy who's now a watchman. Townsman. The Huntresses. I should keep you. And I'll put the tribesmen here too. There we go. That's a That should be a decent enough defense for this castle for a little while. 141. Perfect. Perfect. Hmm. But yeah, Shiva, I'm definitely, definitely looking forward to uh, the dynasty system there. That is just going to be so wonderful. Just the idea of being able to actually create a family train and, you know, educate your kid to hopefully, you know, have different skills than you that maybe you want to work on later in the game or something. And, you know, just working with that just sounds very, very interesting. Uh, Swadian recruit. Veyer recruit. Slave drivers. So, yeah. A good, a good addition to the game. I just hope it comes out soon. <laughs> it won't. Enemy spotted near Suno. Oh, I'm actually going to go head towards Suno. Oh, there's the bandit army. My god. Problem is, there's so many of them. There's so many of them. If I fight one of them, I'm going to get in, in a battle this, that will never end. It will never end. I need to split them up. I can't fight that many at once. Ah, oh, weekly budget. We lost money. Oh, no. What a shame. 
It's not really a big problem. Okay, okay, we split off some of them. Ha oh, well, why did the one who have to stay on me only have one? One guy. <sighs> Dang. Oh, oh! I actually didn't mean to get in that fight, but two others joined. Hmm. Plan the battle with the enemy. Dispatch the orders. The usual orders. I use the same orders in every battle. Oh my god, this is perfect. Oh god, we don't have any archers, do we? No. No, we, we really don't. I really don't. Do, do I? Nope, no archers. No infantry. We're all cal we're all cavalry. Oh yeah, no, my army is actually all cavalry right now, isn't it? <laughs> all right. In that case, oh, it's not good for us to be on the other side of this river. Uh, follow me, folks. Follow me. We need to be over here. <laughs> if we had archers, it'd be great to be over there, but it's not. All right. We're in an open field, though. This is prime location for our cavalry. There we are. Destroy them! Oh yeah, look at that. It's my cavalry washing over them. Oh, you! <sighs> Running right into me. Damn it. I lost my speed. Oh, elephant! Oh, oh, I lost my speed again. And it's useless. It's useless. Alright, everyone's doing good in here. I'm just gonna, you know, jump into things. Yep. Yep. And... Howdy. All right, back out with this. We go after the next chunk. You're in my way. And a boop. Glorious. Glorious. Oh yeah, these mountain bandits, or no, actually these are forest bandits. They got nothing on us. Oh God, avoid them, avoid them, avoid them. Someone lost a horse. No. Oh, oh god. Uh, Alright, we avoided them. It's coming for a pass! Ha ha! Alright, 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 alright. Where's the rest? There they are! Oh god. Oh god, don't hit the tree, don't hit the tree! Got him. Perfect. Alright, and I don't see a target. Oh, I kinda do. Can I get him? I did. Alright, back out with the sword. Let's go back out the third person, and... Frankly, at this point, just charge. We, we, we're in their spawn point. We're in their spawn point. All right. Beautiful. Hoop. Ah! Die! Take this, you forest bastards! All right. Well, let's... Got him! Oh, too many people. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You know what? I'm gonna back away now. My people should be able to clean up the rest. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Uh, Ace of the Fire, you know what? This game actually isn't too bad on the system requirements if you're playing normally. With all the mods and everything I have, it's a little bit bad. But <laughs> if you're playing more vanilla-wise and don't download, like, better textures and whatnot, holy crap, we killed a lot. Glorious. That's actually not so bad. Oh my god, look at them all. All right, well, first, let's get all the Rodox, because we definitely need them. I don't want to leave any of them behind. Actually, I don't think we'll have to leave anyone behind. Oh, my God, look at all those caravan guards. Well, looks like my army is going to be all cavalry again. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. I should drop off more in at Kelridan. Oh, why did I hit that again? Nope. Out. Back to Kelridan! Any non-cavalry will leave them there. All right, what else is in the comments over there? Let's see, what's that? Is that 15 Manhunters? Oh, yes, yes, we got some Manhunters, so that'll be good, adding to our War Elephant Army uh, eventually, which will be glorious. Another Watchman. Ooh, uh, aha, another Elephant. Yes! Caravan guard. Ooh. I'm gonna turn you guys into swordsmen to pop you into here. Kerjeet tribesmen, skirmisher, townsmen. You, you, 
you. Beautiful. Very recruit. Crossbowman, clearly. I'll throw the tribesmen in here, too, actually. All right, now that should be a suitable defense for a while. Good, good. Now I'm going to go capture more. <laughs> I have way too many cavalry, though. Way too many cavalry. Even for me. I love cavalry, but damn. Mm-hmm. Uh, secret, we're actually done with moving all of our forces over here. I'm just kind <gasps> of... My, re my recruits got to Uxal. Yes, perfect. <gasps> they took Nilog finally. Yay! I left that for them. Beautiful. Yeah, toolbook. I still have no idea how they got Kurao. Did someone defect? That's the only way I can imagine how they got Kurao. Was that someone defected? Are they not taking Tulgi yet? No, they're not even sieging at the moment. What about a Hun? Nope, still no. Ha! <laughs> uh, uh, Dark Phantom. Did I ever take. Oh, I completely forgot about the Holy Fury thing for CK2. I really should look into that. It's. Yeah, yeah I completely forgot about it. Been so busy this week with work, everything that had to be finished at work before the holidays, and then, of course, the holidays. Which, again, hopefully all of you guys have had a wonderful Thanksgiving, if you are, you know, in America and celebrate it. If not, hope you had a good weekend for any international viewers. Let's see, what do we have next? Now you want me to have a war elephant mount? God, I'd love a war elephant mount. That'd be beautiful. <laughs> All right. The lines for archers, and because of the setting for heavens, your cavalry loses their horses. Yeah, yes, true. So I, I do always have all that stuff set. But yeah, it's just... <laughs> Once we're in the middle of the battlefield and it's, it's someone loses their horse, it's they're probably either going to fall or just continue in the march anyways. God, I have 535 people here. Glorious. Okay. Oh, people standing on tables. It's a party, folks. Where's the ransom broker? Ha! Ransom brokers on the table. Oh my god, yeah, that's a great deal for all those prisoners. Nice. Refugees, and only three of you. Nah. Whoop, didn't mean to punch someone. Okay. Market. All the bread. Perfect. Perfect. Hmm. Alright, let's roll out. And JStorm, am I still doing 76? Yes, in fact, I just recorded a new one earlier today. And yeah, it is most certainly being review bombed by a lot of people, but f for good reason in a lot of cases. I know a lot of people are talking that, oh, all the hate's just a hate bandwagon, but no, there are... There are genuine things to dislike about that game. Now, and as I've said on multiple occasions, my opinion on the game is mixed. Uh, sometimes I really love playing the game. There are moments in it where I'm very much enjoying myself and having a great time. And then there are others where I'm sitting there going, What the crap is this? <laughs> it's kind of 50-50. And it's, it's weird. It's been a very long time since I've had a game like that. Alright, let's get this guy. I see a lot of Rodox in there. Get him! We'll have our pay. We'll have our fun. Oh, you're gonna all get crushed. And uh, playing the battle. Yeah, there we go. Dispatch orders. To battle. Ooh, not so great of an area on this one. Ah. Uh, all right. Everyone, follow me. Yeah, it looks like all cavalry again. I don't. I don't see any. I don't see any other people. <laughs> but let's set the things. Do I have any? Nope. No archers. But, you know, boom. Infantry, boom. Everyone else, follow me. Oh, they chose a poor area to attack us in now. <laughs> yes, a flat plane. Perfect. <laughs> and there's my cavalry crashing into them all. Hoop. Got him. Kill the enemy! Oh, that's a lot of move my horse to safety. 
And boom. Well, I certainly ran over a number of them. Uh, oh, I missed. All right. Through the fray! Oh, God, everyone is there. Everyone is there. And I got stopped. And through the middle! Ha-ha! <laughs> got one of them. All right. Yep, at this point, just charge. <laughs> we have them. We have them. Oop! No, I meant to slash and I stabbed. Oh, I missed that guy. Alright. Let's see. And then looking over at the chat now since this battle is effectively won. Yeah. I did the whole series. Just finished. Came straight to. Oh, someone watching my stuff. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Glad you could join to uh, watch live there, Chivas Gold. Ace the fire, hire a hitman. Wait, who, wait, who, who, what, what? If only this game had hitmen, but no. <laughs> oh, that's actually another thing I wanted to talk about earlier when uh, you guys brought up the dynasty stuff for Bannerlord. That's one thing I'm really hoping they fix in that game. The most annoying part about Warband, as I hack this tree, is that you cannot kill other lords. They always exist forever and just move from country to country when their lord gets defeated. I really hope that now that there is like the family system and you're supposed to be able to take over from your kid once you die, hopefully that happens for lords too. So it's always changing. So it's not always the same lords and perhaps you could actually destroy a family. That would be amazing. God, I hope that happens. With my luck, it probably won't. <laughs> But it'd be nice. All right, let's take those. Take you. Take you. Got a lot of caravan guards. Damn. Take all the forest bandits I can. Oop. No, I changed my mind. Just leave. I'm gonna take this stuff back to Suno. That ransom broker should still be there. All right, Lynn. Out of all known. Oh wait, what was this? No. Thing that doesn't matter. Out of all the known Fallout factions, which one do you think is the most capable of getting pre-war military machines operational again? Uh, uh hmm. Well, I mean, it'd probably have to be the uh, the Enclave, considering their continuation of pre-war stuff. After that, I'd say either the Brotherhood or the NCR, both of which have gotten pre-war stuff operational. Uh, but yeah, Enclave, most certainly. Which would, my god, I wish we could get more stuff like that operational in the game normally. Yay, more money! Beautiful. We leave. God, when's the king gonna tell me if I get this castle or not? I want Kelra Dan! Slash my own empire! Huh. And Reaver, who are we killing tonight? Uh, right now, bandits. Right now, bandits. Let's see. Bandit armies for the Rodok prisoners. Yeah, you'll be a secret informing you. Yep. And J Storm, I too hope that we will be rebelling soon. I have an army of cavalry that needs needs enemies to fight. Let's see, what else we got here? Dark Phantom saying Brotherhood as to that question earlier. I, I would certainly though still put the Enclave first, just because of their whole whole pre war existence. And the new technology they created. Brotherhood probably second. Then NCR. That's how, yeah, that's, that'd be the order I'd put it in. Uh, what was I just doing? Oh, yeah, we had someone who leveled up. Unless Elite has levels. Skills! I'm going to put Charisma in you because you are going to become a lord. More crossbow for you, sir. Okay, Bahashtor, skills, charisma, leadership, all oh, the crossbow, and one-handed, and polearm just for shits and giggles. There we are, perfect. What other upgrades? Mercenary cavalry, there we are, Kirji tribesmen, Rodok. 
Yeah, I actually kind of prefer you with C Raiders. Yeah, you Swatty, definitely. Caravan Guards. Oh, uh, I'm actually going to make you Swordsman, and we're going to take you back to Kelradan. Uh, crossbowman to go to Kelradan. Watchman, perfect. Good. To Kelradan! All right, back over to chat. Oh, hello. Ah, they want their king back. Yeah, I'll take the offer. Have fun. Enjoy yourself. Make a new other kingdom so that then when I rebel, it's not as painful. <laughs> All right. <laughs> While we're walking. Oh, hello. Yes. It has begun. <laughs> He refuses to give me Kellera Dan. <laughs> uh, I'm going to take a sip of my drink and then he was going to give it to himself. He was going to give it to himself. Oh, yeah. Let's take a sip of dr my drink in victory. Beautiful. <laughs> All right. Renounce our oath. We are now... Renounce Oath and give up your holdings. Renounce Oath and rule lands, including Kelradan in my own name. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you now possess land in your name and are not the subject of another noble. This makes you a monarch in your own right, with your court temporarily located at Suno. However, the other sovereigns in Calaratria would first consider you a threat. Well, of course. For it, for if any upstart warlord can grab a throne, then their own legitimacy... Legit... <sighs> can't talk today. Legitimacy is called into question. You may find it desirable at this point to pledge yourself to an existing kingdom. Hell no. If you want to continue as a sovereign monarch, then your first priority should be to establish an independent right to rule. You can establish your right to rule through several means. Marrying into highborn family... Recruiting new lords, governing your lands, treating with other kings, or dispatching your companions on missions. At any rate, your first step should be to appoint a chief minister from among your companions to handle affairs of state. Different companions have different capabilities, and you may want to appoint new ministers from time to time. You may also change the location of your court by speaking to the minister. Appoint your wife. I'm going to appoint my wife. She's my minister. Because I don't want to give up any of these people. I'm going to make them lords. So the wife... She shall be my minister. Yes. And why is she in Suno? Proven is my capital, damn it. Proven. <sighs> we are independent. Oh, we are no barony, sir. We are the Kota Bosian Empire. Yes. Confirm. Yes, I want to change my domestic policy. <laughs> oh, what do I want to do with all this? <laughs> uh, centralization, we are quite, currently quite plutocratic. High centralization, reduce tax and efficiency for the king and raise it for vassals. This will interfere the relation between ruler and vassal. Uh, a little decentralized, neither too centralized, a little very centralized. You know what? We're going to go quite decentralized, honestly. Eh, a little bit decentralized. Quite plutocratic. High aristocracy will improve the relation between the king and his vassals, who will be able to raise bigger armies. But will be decreased. But it will be decreased. What's the word? <laughs> it's behind the thing. Serfdom, almost all serfs. High serfdom reduces tax efficiency for the king. Blah, 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 troop quality. Very many soldiers. Ooh, no, 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 no. Let's go with a mediocre quality. Very high quality. You know what? Let's actually go with sign of middling at the moment, frankly. Uh, mercantilistic policies maximize exports while minimizing imports. Increase government regulation of industry. Quite laissez-faire. I'll stick with laissez-faire. Yes! Yes! Look at our glorious empire! <laughs> I'm so happy right now. Deus Boat, my friends! Deus Boat. We also have a holding over here. Oh, they took Tolga? How the crap they take Tolga? Wasn't... Did I lose Tolga to, like, the Kurjeet and then they took it back? That's probably what happened. Uhun, I don't care about. You can take it whenever. My god. Look at it. 
I'm so happy. And that is actually perfect timing, as that's the half hour mark, which is, you know, halfway through the stream. So for those of you watching live right now, keep on watching. For those of you watching this after the fact on YouTube, please do come back Thursday to catch part two. Or, of course, come back next Sunday, 9 p.m. Eastern, to watch as we extend our empire. But until then, thank you for watching, and have a good one.